always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Light showers persist today, and we're seeing some pockets of rain this afternoon to evening. We have a few more that are going to be moving through until we can finally get back to clearing skies. This is the view on StormTrack Live, along with a few select camera views. Allendale sprinkles on the camera, Muskegon, a nice low cloud bank there. And sometimes when we look over some of our lakeshore areas, we can actually see a sliver of sunshine in the distance over Lake Michigan. Not the case today. This cloud bank stretches all the way back to Minneapolis, and it's still attached to that system that just won't leave. It's producing cloud cover for several states, the entirety of the Great Lakes in New England, and it's producing a good amount of snow and rain for a good portion of the uh, Atlantic coast. Satellite and radar together showing that the showers that are being produced right now over the Great Lakes are pretty inconsequential. No severe weather, we're not seeing a lot of accumulating snow, just kind of some nuisance showers. Temps right now are sitting in the 40s, and tonight we're expecting temperatures to drop down close to freezing. Our wind is also going to settle some. Tomorrow it will likely be slightly breezy, but nothing too terrible. Right around about 15 miles per hour for sustained winds at times in the afternoon. And we could see a few gusts up near 20 miles per hour, but it's not looking too frequent. So in general, pretty easy to take Friday. And I think the biggest thing that we're going to notice is the fact that the clouds are going to be breaking up, which is fantastic. Glimpse of sunshine will become full spans of blue at times for Friday with high temperatures near 48 degrees. Saturday, 55 degrees, mostly sunny. Winds at about 5 to 10. In fact, Saturday and Sunday looking like a fantastic April weekend with temperatures pretty close to average for this time of year. Here's the future cast showing you how the showers continue to move in along with the clouds overnight tonight. But through Friday, we finally start to see some breakage and the reemergence of sunshine. Saturday morning, we could see a few low clouds early, but we expect the sunshine to break back in and then it sticks around for us on Sunday. Now, a lot of people are watching the weather closely for the solar eclipse. It will be partly to mostly cloudy around here. Very good chance we could see a nice break in the clouds during the actual eclipse in West Michigan, which takes place just after 3 p.m. As for the forecast track, well, we've got some sunshine in spots, but again, we'll have to watch it very closely. Cloud cover is notoriously very tricky. It can change even a few hours before. So that will be something to watch on Monday before the eclipse. Other than that, it really looks like a fantastic eight day in store for mm -hmm. us here. Much better. Temperatures <laughs> are Much better. better. Yes. Yeah, warmer, sunnier. We will take it. I hope things work out on Monday. I do too. I'm yeah. I have my fingers Me crossed. Me too. Yeah. I know it. All right. Thanks, Ellen.